Hi, this is a continuation, and uh, well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you know what's going on because this is. I'll be doing when I read my words. I'll be using this side of my face. When I'm using reading the uh, the Muslims' word, I'll be using this side. Okay. Okay. All right, continue. So you do agree that Job is talking about Jesus, correct? Luke chapter 2, verse 21. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Can you imagine a God being circumcised and is in the womb, etc.? Yes. If that God is made, quote, a little lower than the angels, so he can uh, have a mortal body and uh, thus suffer and die on the cross for the sins of the world. Again, I bet you think I only think Jesus was God while on earth and not man as well. True? Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, quote, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Right. Sounds uh, more than a prophet uh, or a messenger of Allah, wouldn't you say? You can clearly say that the power of Jesus was not his but from God. True. Like when my hands type this keyboard, my mind gives it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when my, my hand types this keyboard, my, my mind gives it the power to type this uh, keyboard. Without my mind, my, my hand is uh, nothing but bones, flat, uh, blood and flesh, kind of like uh, a catcher's mitt on the, on the shelf, not used. 32. But of that day and that hour, no, no men, no, no men, no, not the sons, uh, not, not the angels, which are in the heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Right? Uh, said by Jesus when he was on earth, during the time he was made a little lower than the angels. Here you can clearly say that the Father is not the same as the Son. So why are you praying to Jesus? Ha! Huh? When you should be praying to the Father God, Allah. <laughs> I... I, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I, I pray to God, not Allah, but to God in Jesus' name, and hopefully by the Holy Spirit. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 1. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham, returning from the slaughter of the kings, and blessed him. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. First, by inter interpretation of king, uh, the king of righteousness. And after that, also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days, nor end of days, or nor end of life, but made like the Son of God, abideth a priestly continually. Huh. That's really something. If so, then it sounds like Melchizedek was a type of Christ. Perhaps it was? Uh, uh, damn, this Melchizedek is greater than Jesus! He is like God! Ha ha! Or, uh, or he was Jesus. Can you show me where he wasn't Jesus? Can you show in the, in the, the book, the Bible, the before scriptures, where he wasn't supposed to be Jesus? Uh, Matthew chapter 27 verse 46 And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani That is to say, my God, my God Why hast thou forsaken me? Is Jesus crying to himself? Ha! Huh? Uh, in a way, yes when he uh, took on the sins of the world, God turned away from his body on the cross, and the body, in doubt, possibly due to taking on the sin of doubt, cried out so. That's what I'm thinking. By the way, Eli Eli sounds like Allah. 
because Hebrew is almost as the same as the Arabic it's almost the same as Arabic how does Eli sound like Allah to you does Allah mean my God or does Allah supposedly mean the God which is it and what is God and not my excuse me and what is quote God unquote and not quote my God unquote sound in Arabic do you think it still sounds like Eli uh John uh chapter 11 verse 41 then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said father I thank thee that thou hast heard me and I know that thou hurtest me always but because of the people which stand by I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me and when he thus had spoken he cried with a loud voice Lazarus come forth and uh, Lazarus come forth you can see clearly that Jesus asked God for help <laughs> Uh, right goes to show you there is a trinity does it not you know um, that there are three personages that make up the one by the way did you know that if you cut the corpus callosum of your brain it will turn you into two people the corpus callosum makes it makes you one when you are really actually two people John chapter 13 verse John chapter 13 16 verily verily I say unto you the servant is not greater than his Lord neither he that is sent uh, greater than he that sent him huh so Uh, since Jesus supposedly sent Muhammad like Muslims believe does that not mean that Jesus is God to Muhammad oh but you won't believe that will you uh, 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 Jesus uh, clearly making the statement that he is not greater than God so God is greater like uh, we Muslims say Allah Akbar I hope I hope now you get it again Again, since you feel this means Jesus is less than God, then since you try to say that Jesus sent Muhammad as the comforter, are you not saying that Muhammad is less than Jesus? By the way, from my understanding of the Quran, it's only Allah who sends messengers. But you say that Jesus sent Muhammad. Aren't you saying then that Jesus is God? Uh, you know because really as I said in Islam isn't Allah supposed to be one who sends messengers only and yet you say Jesus sent Muhammad are you not then saying Jesus is Allah uh, uh, John chapter 14 verse 24 he that loveth me and uh, not he that loveth me not keepeth not my saints and and the word which uh, you you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Again, again, Jesus, while on earth, was quote made a little lower than the angels. It says that in the Injil, and I believe that. I bet you think I believe Jesus is still a little lower than the angels. True. Uh, so which side, on which side you on the Christian side or the Muslim side? Ha! Huh? Well, uh, what do you think? What's wrong with you, man? How am I wrong? I should, I, I should your verses from your, from your own Bible, and still you are blind and deaf. How am I blind and deaf? Uh, what about this? This is Isaiah seven, King James version. Uh, Isaiah seven, verse seventeen. The Lord shall bring upon thee, and upon thy people, and upon thy father's house, days that have not come, 
In other words, the days will be different than usual, true? Uh, from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of Syria. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall hiss for the fly that it that is in the uttermost part of the river of Egypt, and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. And they shall come, and shall rest all of them in the desolate valleys, and in the holes of the rocks, and upon the thorns, and upon the bush, and, and upon all bushes. Hmm. In other words, sounds like God is going to set things up that make it uh, so survivors of his anger will be living in the wilderness. And uh, uh, in, that, in the same day shall the Lord shave with a razor that is hired, namely, by them beyond the river, by the king of Assyria, the head and the hair of the feet, and it shall also consume the bird. Hmm. Uh, this sounds this sounds prophetic. Of course it is. This is Isaiah talking about a future time. Sounds like Isaiah is prophesying Muslims, meaning that Muslims are into shaving sometimes. Maybe all hell breaks loose in the Middle East during the time of uh, Hajj when Muslims are shaved. And it shall come to pass in that day that the man shall nurse a young cow and to ship. And it shall come to pass, uh, for the abundance of milk that they shall give, he shall eat butter. The butter and honey shall everyone eat that is left in the land. In other words, in other words, it sounds like God is going to uh, wipe out the Middle East. You know, it, 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 it sounds like God is going to wipe out the Middle East, but there will be survivors who will find things to eat and bring the land of Israel back into productivity. Look how sick you Christians are that you believe that, that this is the word from God. How does this mean it's not the word of God? I've got to stop it here.